Good morning. All protocols observed. I am just, just, I'm Joseph Escunia, the second of the four. And this is Jonathan, first one. And we are here to give you a little insight to our lives and how we ended up on this stage with you here this morning. We entered the market as a very small entity. Some may even say a non-entity. The new kids on the block. Four years ago, we knew we had what it took to succeed. We had talent. We had know-how, but more importantly, we felt we had something even more powerful, which is the quality experience. The most important lesson we have learned is that there's no substitute for hard work. Hard work. We will never compromise on quality. Nights, I would rather sacrifice. Hard work is 72 hours of shooting. Hard work is 48 hours of no sleep doing visual effects behind a computer. Yeah, but you're forgetting about the client's changes. Oh, sorry, sorry. Uh, hard work is changes, changes, and more changes. <laughs> well, it's true. From the onset, we knew that Biscuña Brothers was not just another production house, not just another family business. We instinctively knew what we wanted, and that was for our customers to have an experience in doing business with us. It was not just about the transaction we moved on. It was not just about understanding, but but more importantly, how to deliver those ones through the quality experience. We will never compromise on quality. I would rather sacrifice my brother's lives than jeopardize the product <laughs> and lose the fate of our customers. Sorry, guys. For us, it's all about cultivating relationships and transferring that family touch to our clients so in return, they will become our extended family. Before we came together in business, we had our own separate experiences in this industry. Experience to help us identify what the industry was lacking and improve on it. When we started, we knew nothing about cash flow management, debt leveraging, still don't know what that is. Very little about human resource development, and the closest we had come to profit was making it for our previous employers. But we did know what we did know was how to survive on little and make sacrifices. We started with the core clientele, and we really got to know them well, so we were, so we were able to cultivate a priceless relationship and level of trust between us and our customers. And then the word started to spread. Our clients grew to know and trust our entire team. We created one big family, customers, employees, and guys, well, us behind the camera. And here's an example. I think the team, they work together with our agency from the beginning. We concept. One of the driving forces behind our business is passion. You see, it has been said that passion turns into strength and manifests itself into a competitive advantage. And so, what, one of the first things we did, we did when we decided we wanted to go into business was talk to our mother, Lisa Viscunia. Interestingly, while doing research for this presentation, we found out that several great entrepreneurs recommend speaking to both or one parent before embarking on entrepreneurial adventures. It is through sacrifice that you sometimes truly find yourself and explore your strengths. We came from very humble beginnings and visions of us hand carrying buckets of water up two hills to our home are forever etched in my mind. And we also used to take care of our neighbor. She was around 80 years old, so she couldn't really take care of herself. So our mom decided to put us in to help her around the house and so on. So we used to go to the bakery. We used to help clean up her kitchen. We used to help hang out her clothes. I nearly forgot about that. Yeah, and um, so we used to do this on a daily basis, every day for her. And um, when it came around to that time where she used to call out for us, they used to look at each other and say, all right, let's play a game, rock, paper, scissors, to see who would um, go next, because that was an everyday ordeal. I think we used to send Justin. Yes, mostly time. It is in those early childhood days we all knew we wanted a better life for ourselves. Not just one of us, but all of us. Our mother, 
was the driving force in us developing life skills for success, which we have incorporated in our business. And so, we began our passion and union to create meaning for ourselves and our lives. But passion remains a dream until you act on it. Guy Kawasaki, in his book, The Art of the Start, says many organizations develop vision and mission statements after paying loads and millions and gazillions of money for it. However, he feels that these statements are useless and no one knows what they mean, especially the customers. So, some are so long, you can't even remember them. Instead, he advises us to make a mantra for yourselves. You know, he said, you know, just close your eyes and think what your mantra is and choose something that has meaning. So what is our meaning? Ours is snap out of it. Yeah, just snap out of it. And so we snapped out of it and came to realize our dream by making a choice, choosing a family model. It is said that it is not us that carries the dream, but the dream that really carries us. So true because of our passion and our dreams, were, we, we were able to innovate and repackage a product that the market knew and present it in a way the customer has never experienced it before. This caused customers to look at the product in a different light and, well, the rest is history. Kawasaki in his book also says, you know, don't do better sameness, but do it 10 times better. Just think differently. We have um, expanded the role of the production house from merely putting the client's ideas into film. We have become part of the conceptualizing process whereby we involved ourselves from the very beginning of the marketing strategies of the client. We are part of the brainstorming process to bring across the message to the audience. Another great life lesson passed on to us, our mother, was teamwork and the value of it. Growing up in a family of six where only one parent worked, there was no way to make it but to work together. We were taught how each person can contribute in a different way to the same goal and further that every single person mattered. Today, Visconia Brothers Production Company is not only a team of four brothers, and our employees and our customers make up the wider team. We work alongside customers so that we can understand their passion and their products, getting to know not only their business, but them. We come together to pitch ideas and laugh at each other and produce a product like only we can. We create a niche for ourselves. Our customers have learned to trust us and we have experienced situations where we were able to pre prevent from what they thought could have been catastrophic marketing decisions. Our team is not complete without employees who all share our passion. It has been said when hiring, choose infected people. People who share in your passions. You know, like evangelists for your purpose. Every drug, even truth, needs a delivery system. In the Matrix, the movie done in 1999, uh, directed by the Wachowski brothers, it was Morpheus. The character played by Lawrence Fishburne, who was, who is your Morpheus in your organization? If you don't have one, get one. You may need a few. Each organization is a need for different kinds of Morpheus but all organizations need at least one of them to deliver the red pill when necessary. And so when we started, we knew how to direct and edit films, but we had never run a business before. So once again, our driving force in life, my mother, put us on a friend to Miss Su Mrs. Susan Romano Davis, who assisted us with our business plans and was able to steer us in the right direction. She was our first Morpheus. With her assistance, we were able to approach Nedco for our startup capital and even took it. And though it took some time, we got approved. Mrs. Romano Davis then introduced us to Ms. Shalini Wahab and her company, Yos Management Services Limited, who guided us financially. Both of these ladies continue to be an integral part of the team today. With their financial expertise supporting our business, we can now approach more established financial institutions for funding and can boast of getting approval for credit in the six-figure bracket in two days. 
Shilini was our second Morpheus. We couldn't do it alone. But it hasn't been all about clouds and friends. A family business also has its challenges, some we face every single day. The informality that creeps in, especially in our type of business model, needs to be addressed. You need to have clear policies and procedures about profit sharing, roles and responsibilities and compensation packages, the same as if you were in a non-family type organization. If these issues are not dealt with from the onset, it can lead to misunderstanding, fights, arguing, breakup of the family company. So when we started our family business, we had no manuals, no guidelines. There was an absence of clear policies, procedures, and business norms. We didn't have document, documented business strategies for operations, growth, and succession. We set very meager salaries and did not consider our real worth in the business. We thought it would, we would just make the sacrifice and simply make it work. As time went on, the different role functions were informal, major responsibilities became saddled on the same team members. Every member of the family pitched in to make the business a success. We had no plans other than just moving ahead step by step. We did not specifically assign jobs, but we figured out how to split everything up so things were done 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Our unusual flat structure speeds communication, response, time, and innovation. If a big customer wants a product, we are fast. We develop it quickly, within, within days if necessary, including package and design. We don't have to go through layers. It is just one step to the CEO. <laughs> For a family with no practical experience in business, it was a learn-as-you-go type tightrope act. But we learned from others. We hired people to join, to come in, and train us on the how to. While the company was growing, a family structure developed as well. The company's growth required clear defined roles, accountabilities, goals, and structure. Each brother assumed distinct responsibility based on the skills and strength that each demonstrated. And if it were not for our advisors' role confusion, poor control of operations and a lack of a reporting structure could have easily led to lack or misplaced talent and skills eventually affected the unified vision for our business. Currently, we are in the process of documenting company value ethics and business philosophy. As in the case with many problems and challenges we all face, recognizing and acknowledging them is the first step to effectively overcoming them. There are three components necessary for building or rebuilding. A strong and effective foundation for a successful family business. One, clear and effective communication between all family members. A well-defined reporting structure, a chain of command. A documented strategic plan for business growth and orderly succession. Looking for help and advice outside of the business is really a good practice for many business owners. Trust me and perhaps even more critical for the owners of family businesses. The insight and objectivity that outside advisors, coaches, and mentors provide can prove to be critical to the growth and success of the business. Strategic, strategic planning is key for family business and small business. That is why we rely on the services of our advisors to assist us while we focus on our core competence. We allow them to focus on theirs. Our success is their success and speaks to the power of the team. Our story demonstrates how a family can evolve to overcome any challenge. Rather than stay at a comfortable level, we chose to make the extra effort and build for the family's future. Well, it's a work in progress, but our purpose is to go on creating and one day we hope to produce our very own film to be entered into the Cannes Film Festival and soon we will snap out of it. But we can make it clear that whatever direction we go, our family and its values will continue to play a central role. And as I conclude, one final word of advice, satisfaction, it breeds complacency. Always critique yourself for nothing fails like success. For those of you who still don't know who we are, 
Um, we will leave you with a small presentation of our work, our passion, and our love, the Viscunia Brothers Company. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs>